Hey, good morning. Welcome back. Straight to Luke chapter 2, verses 41 to 50. His parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover, and when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem according to the custom of the feast. When they had finished the days as they returned, the boy Jesus lingered behind in Jerusalem, and Joseph and his mother did not know it. But supposing him to have been in the company, they went a day's journey and sought him among their relatives and acquaintances. So when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem seeking him. Now so it was that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, both listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. So when they saw him, they were amazed, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Look, your father and I have sought you anxiously. And he said to them, Why do you seek me? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? But they did not understand the statement which he spoke to them. Oh, now this is a pretty intense period because, look, they leave Jerusalem, they're going back, they lose track of Jesus. Now Mary was told, what? A sword will pierce through your heart also. And so if Jesus is a Messiah, that would mean, you know, there'd be kind of like giant forces arrayed against him. So yes, Mary and Joseph are searching for him with increasing anxiety, I'm quite sure. And finally, they realize they have to go back. They have lost their son, Jesus. He's gone. Where is he? They go back, and of course, it's in the temple that we find Jesus. And there he is with the top scribes of the nation, the top uh, theologians and and, uh, people, religious talkers there. And he's listening to them, and he's answering them, and all the teachers. There they are, the teachers Having sort of an interesting chatter session in the temple. Boy, I wish I could have have a recording of that. But when they find him, they say, you know, son, why did you do this? And he says, didn't you know I have to be about my father's work? Now, when he went to the temple, he's 12 years old. And, you know, he must have, that was the first time. Now, this is a period of time has gone by, obviously, between the last segment and this one. And that's when a boy would first go and be there and, and participate really more directly in the Passover. And perhaps it was that when Jesus was 12, he saw that Passover lamb, he saw the lamb being sacrificed, and he suddenly realized at that point more fully by the Holy Spirit what his life mission was, who he was, what he was. I'm the lamb of God slain from the foundation of the world, Revelation 13, verse 8. Perhaps that thought came to Jesus, and now he's in the temple, and he's been processing that thought, and now he's talking to their uh, big, big cheese, you know, the big theologians. Boy, we could lose track even of Jesus. His own parents did for a few days. Have we ever lost track of Jesus for a few days? Probably so. Friend, let's never lose track of Jesus. Let's keep in his company because he's about his father's business, and that's what we need to be, is about our father's business. Dear Father in heaven, please bless the every hearer to this uh, short presentation today. So we're just working through verse by verse. Lord, we we don't want to ever lose sight of you for a, for an hour or a day, Lord, Bless us and help us to stay close by to the side of Jesus. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you today.